Hello and welcome to Dad's Base. It's Dave. This is a podcast for dads. By dads. I'm happy you're here. Well, some stuff is happening in our family that's uh, probably going to be a reality by the time this episode enters your eardrums. I've been graduated. I've been promoted. I'm going to be a grandfather. What? I know. I'm too young for this. Talking about all things becoming a grandpa on Dad's Space. <laughs> Here we go. Well, the cat is out of the bag. I don't know why anyone put the cat in the bag, but anyways, the cat is out of the bag. Yes, by the time you're hearing this, I am probably going to be a grandfather, which I am not sure about completely because I don't think I'm ready for this promotion. And I'm wondering if there's anybody out there that feels like I do. You know, hey, we did this all before, right? Once, right? We had children, as new dads, we carried them out of the hospital for the first time and brought them home and all of the nervous energy and questioning of yourselves and can I do this? Do I have the ability? All of those things that we worked through once, twice, three times for me with my three kids. And now I'm on the doorstep again and wondering to myself, can I really do this? Am I, am I prepared to step into this next chapter of who I am as a dad? I'm still going to remain a dad. But I now have a new title that's looming over my head. And to be quite honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about it because it came faster than I was expecting. And it really wasn't the ramp up that I was anticipating when I planned out in my mind what my future would look like with my kids and everything. You know, things happen. And I am now here on the precipice of becoming a grandfather, and I get to use big words like precipice now, which is fun. And I'm wondering if you're out there and you're feeling the way I am, because uh, I would love to hear from you and get your wisdom. It's exciting and nerve wracking, everything all in one. And, you know, I'm just kind of processing what this really means to me as a, as a new grandfather to be. And it kind of makes me think, okay, now what is my role? How am I going to fit in here? I felt when I became a dad that I struggled to find my spot because everyone was doing the baby showers and my wife was doting over the kids and everyone wanted to see her and the kids. And I kind of felt like I was the driver or the guy that carried the stuff to the car and Dave would be over in the corner. Being an introvert didn't help much either, but Dave would be over in the corner while everyone celebrated the life of my children, and there wasn't a lot going on for Dave. And in that moment, you kind of become a little selfish. What about me? Like, where do I fit in all of this? And that's not the best mental mind state to be in when a new life enters your home. Uh, and and I'm, that's one thing I'm battling with is trying to figure out where do I fit into all of this. So if you're a new grandfather, I'm in my early 50s. So this is, to me, feels really, really young to be here. But then part of me says, Dave, listen, you're young. And there's an opportunity to see someone grow up and be there for a longer period of their life than if they were born in your 60s or 70s. That makes sense. But still, I'm struggling trying to find my home in all of this and find my spot. And really, I don't know what is next for me and how I'm going to find my spot here. And looking through Google searches and, and books and going on Amazon and, and everything, trying to find out, is there anybody out there that can help me with this? And you get the generic stuff, you know, um, a lot of it's just stuff that seems very simple when you read it, but I guess there's a few things that I'm kind of anticipating 
as I prepare to become a grandfather. Number one, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. Um, as a first time grandparent to be, there's going to be a wide range of emotions as we kind of go through this. There's some inadequacies, which I mentioned already. There's some, some excitement that something new is happening. Um, there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of second guessing, uh, confusion. Um, who am I to be a grandfather? All of these things. What it, really the big thing, I guess, is what is my role in all of this? And uh, I guess for the first few weeks or months, I'm kind of anticipating that this is going to be somewhat of an emotional roller coaster for me. And that's why I'm recording this now in advance to all this happening, because I can now listen back to this in a few weeks and go, wow, Dave, you really weren't prepared. Or maybe there's some insight here that comes from my rambling that will help to help me in the next few weeks. There's a lot of reasons to be optimistic about being a future grandparent. Uh, becoming a grandparent can have a positive impact on, on a person's well-being as well. So even though I'm feeling nervous, I need to try to focus on the excitement and the anticipation of a new chapter in my life. It's really going to be a change in my lifestyle as well. Um, just reading through some of the things online that becoming a first-time grandparent is really a huge milestone. Um, it's, it's time to celebrate with your loved ones and make some major adjustments. And one thing I'm noticing with my wife, Jennifer, is she's kind of going through that nesting stage all over again that we had when we had our children. I have baby stuff everywhere in my living room. Like you have to climb over stuff to get around all of this baby swings and strollers. And here's a, here's a, a bed and here's a carrier. And oh my gosh. Like we're back to this again, and it just feels very odd to see this come back full circle now for us. What I'm kind of anticipating is that I'm going to get another deeper understanding or perspective on parenting by now being promoted <laughs> to this new season in my life and becoming a first-time grandparent and taking in all the joys and challenges of all the different relationships that are now a part of this it can also give me a deeper understanding appreciation for parenting. And now I get to watch my, my son parent for the first time. And I know he's feeling nervous. I know he's feeling his own sense of inadequacies and fear and excitement, everything. And I'm trying to focus my attention on him in these early days to give him the support he needs from a dad, one dad to a new dad. And while it may be challenging times for everyone, watching your child become a parent can be an incredibly rewarding experience. You'll get to see the firsthand unconditional love that they have for their child and the lengths that they will go in order to keep their child safe and happy. And hopefully that's things that they've seen modeled from me and it's also time to make you think about how you raise your own children and learn how your child does things differently. And I guess that's the one thing that I'm really trying to understand is what my son might think is different or better or how he is going to approach parenting that I maybe didn't do. And maybe I can learn a few things from watching him navigate the newness of becoming a dad. So there's um, I, saw, I found five first tips or five tips for first-time grandparents, and I thought I'd share them with you and with myself. This is really an episode for me, and you get to listen in. But number one, just set expectations. Um, talk to your kids about the expectations and what your role will play in your grandchild's life. And it's vital that that we're all on the same page right from the beginning. The last thing you want to do is get be too involved and end up crossing the boundaries or uninvolved and never around. I guess just having that conversation up front about what they need and how, where I fit in and talk about it instead of just assuming that I know where, where I fit in with all of this. As much as I'd love to be there for every moment that I can, it's really their child and they need to decide how to raise their kids and how much involvement I will have. So once I know their expectations, I can kind of prepare myself accordingly. And I guess 
thinking about now, that's a conversation I really haven't had. So I do feel unprepared in that I haven't had that that discussion with my son yet. Number two is just offer advice if you're asked for your advice. One of the hardest things about becoming a grandparent is just knowing when to offer advice and when to bite your tongue and take a back seat. It might be tempting to want to share your wisdom and, and parenting styles with your kids uh, and grandchildren, but resist the urge to step too far across the line. Your kids are now adults and they have their own unique ways of raising their own kids, their own opinions, and they might differ from what I see, from what I feel. This doesn't mean that I can't offer help. It just simply means that they have to come to me. I don't impose my will or my thoughts or my opinion on my kids. I need to wait for them to come to me. And if they're struggling with a problem, offer support and let them know that I'm there for them. But they'll appreciate the fact that they have space to make their own decisions. And number three, I guess, would be sticking to their own rules as part of this list. Being a grandparent is one of the most rewarding experiences life has to offer, but it also can be just filled with potential landmines, especially when it comes to maintaining a good relationship with my kids. One of the most important things to remember is that I should stick to their rules laid out by my kids. My kid is now a parent, and I am now going to become a grandparent. This means that there are likely to be some new rules in place for your grandchild and you and that I'll need to follow. And that's something I need to understand. And again, that's part of that conversation that needs to happen. Just by respecting the, the parenting style that they've chosen for as my kids, they've picked this and don't impose my own ideas and values on them. Instead, just try to support and encourage them as they navigate this new stage in life. I know they're going to hit roadblocks. I know they're going to come to a point where they don't have an answer, and I hope to be there for them in that conversation. It can be really tempting to want to do things your way because I've done them once, twice, three times with my three kids, so I have an idea of how I would approach it. But you learn new things as you grow as a parent and as an adult, and maybe you'll do things different than you did 20 years ago with new information. That's the best thing about adulthood is learning in in learning from a variety of people, people even younger than yourself, learning from your kids. Number four is just to offer help when needed. If you're a grandparent, chances are you're excited to finally have some quality time with your grandkids. But before you get too involved, it's important to remember that the parents may not want or need your help every minute of the day. So I need to strike the right balance. So try offering to help when needed, but don't be pushy and respect their space and give them a chance to bond with their own kid on their own time. So for instance, they're offering suggestion here that if parents need a break, offer to babysit so that they can have some time for themselves, which we all know as young parents, we didn't have much of, uh, but don't overstay your welcome either. Know when it's time to hand the baby back and head home. So in a nutshell, being a grandparent is a wonderful experience, as it says here, and I'm yet to find out. Uh, but remember that you're not the parent. And by striking the right balance, you're able to enjoy your time with your great kids and grandkids without overstepping your bounds. And lastly, is just enjoy this special time. There's nothing quite like becoming a first-time grandparent, the joy of Seeing your child become a parent themselves is hard to put into words. And according to research, it's also the most satisfying things you can experience in life. And that I'm really interested in seeing that unfold for me. I'm a pretty emotional guy, pretty stoic and quiet, but uh, you hit the right chord and you got me. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen as I listen back to this in a few weeks, but... That's why one of the best pieces of advice anyone can give to first-time grandparents is simply to be present, practice mindfulness, and enjoy the special time. Like in all things wonderful in life, it goes by so quickly. So take lots of pictures, make plenty of memories, and soak up as many snuggles as you can. And with this new role comes new responsibilities. 
So if you're about to become a first-time grandparent like myself, congratulations. It's sure to be a rewarding and life-changing experience for the both of us. You're likely to have a lot of unknowns, and that's really normal. Learning as you go is part of the fun. Just understand there's these three things that you're going to expect, and it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. It's going to be a big change in your lifestyle, and you're going to get a deeper understanding of parenting. And to prepare for becoming a first-time grandparent, just set those expectations. Offer advice if you're asked. Stick to their rules. Offer help when needed. And enjoy this special time. Get ready to embark, as they say here, on an amazing adventure as you accept your new role. And there's a key point. Accepting this new role. It's up to me to accept this. Step up. Although it may be exhausting at times, there's nothing quite like seeing the world through the eyes of a child. And the most important thing, though, is just to be there for your family, showing them how much you love them. That's what being a grandparent and a parent is all about. If you are on the doorstep of becoming a parent, if you are on the doorstep of becoming a grandparent, I would love to hear your voice, a voice message from you and your advice to those listening, to me as a new grandparent. And if you can go over to dadspace.ca and click the little microphone, you can leave me a voice message and let me know what your advice would be for someone like me or maybe a new dad out there, a new parent, who will be bringing home a new life into their home for the first time. I would love to get your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience in a voice message, and then I can share it here on the podcast. Would you do that? Would you go over to dadspace.ca and click the little microphone button? It says speak pipe right there on the website. You get 90 seconds to record it. You can always do it over if you didn't say it clearly or you stumbled. And then it'll show up in my inbox. And then I can listen to it and then also take that message that you've shared and put it here and help more people. Help the audience that are coming here back week after week for more dad space. Let's get your voice on the podcast. I think that would be a great compliment to the content that we're putting out on a regular basis. And I just want to thank you for being part of Dad Space. And again, the next time I come to record here on Dad Space, most likely I will be a grandfather at that point. And I appreciate the congratulations and the and the kind well wishes. I appreciate that. I would love to hear from you. Dadspace.ca is the website. My name is Dave, future grandfather here on Dad Space. Thank you for listening. And uh, if you're going to be embarking on adding a new life into your home soon, congratulations. I'm cheering for you. Take care. We'll talk soon on the next Dad Space. Dadspace.ca. We'll see you over there. Hey, thanks for listening to Dad Space today. I'm so thankful that you were here for this episode. If uh, you like the show, please let another dad know. Hey, (laughs) that kind of rhymed. Anyways, uh, share the episode out with somebody in your circle who would love dad space. That means so much to us here for our guests who donate their time to be on the show. And we just want to see this grow. So again, another rhyme. Oh, wow. Anyhow, (laughs) I think I need to write a song or something. Thank you for being here for with Dad Space. And again, looking forward to the next episode. Look forward to having you here again with us. And if we can help you in any way, if you have a great guest idea for the show, a topic that we would, you would love us to cover, we would love to do that here on Dad Space. So thanks for listening and thanks for being part of the community. And to you, Dad, thank you for listening. And thank you for sharing Dad Space. Catch you on the next one. Take care.